Hey guys, I just uh, had to redo my computer, so I had to re-download Tractor, and I just noticed, guess what we have here? Tractor 2.6.4. And that just came up. Release date was yesterday. So it's funny, I didn't get any emails or anything, so uh, I guess that should be coming around pretty soon. And so some of the things that they uh, changed, we're going to check out real quick here. So... What's new in the 2.6.4? And this obviously is going to apply to the Mac guys too. So we got the integration of the S2 and S4 MK2. And they actually call it the MK2, which is the first time they've actually done that, as far as I can see in any literature. Because I know I called it an MK2. And anyways, um, drastic reduction of queuing and loop and late Cs when using the CD time code, which I don't use myself personally. Added deck A and C as a valid deck selection for the control X1 and K2. So I guess you can, instead of running like A, B, C, D, you can go A, C now. Which I don't know why you would, but I guess if you want to, why not? Improve the overall stability of track analysis. Well, I was having a lot of problems with certain things being analyzed and crashing the whole goddamn system. So hopefully this fixes it. Auto gain, blah, blah, blah. I don't use auto gain myself. Um, browser. What else do we got here? We have, uh, oh, the selected track now remains visible when leaving the browse view. That's nice. MetaSync is fixed in certain languages. I didn't have a problem with that. I speak English. Release of keyboard commands mapped to command plus is now cor correctly triggered for the Mac. Improve stability when switch and remix deck to track deck. That's a big deal, man. Because if your remix decks were going and you switched, it would crash every goddamn time. And that's been the last couple versions, so it's about time they got on that shit. Track decks now stop properly if options stop playback and the track is enabled. Mm, mine always did stop properly, so. Uh, new deck warning. Low time code quality. Increase the range of the bend sensitivity preference. Okay. Well, that's it. So uh, I'm going to make another video and I'm going to test out some of these little glitchy things we had with Lupin and um, oh, what, what were we doing there with the uh, flux mode. Sorry, brain freeze for a second. Yeah, flux mode when you're in loops and stuff, it would jump out of flux the loop. So I wonder if they fix that. We're going to find out. Anyways, that's it. Um, so yeah, go get it. If you don't see it in Service Manager which I haven't looked yet, I suggest you just go right on their website like I did and uh, log in and download it. And uh, I'm going to test this out and see how it works. See you guys later.